So you've made it to the first part of the War Priest encounter, which is Totems. This is a really fun encounter that's changed a little bit since D1, but it's something that just for following this guide, you should be able to clear fairly quickly. So let's get to it. When you get into the room, you'll notice there's a big portal in the front that you can't get through and some thrall that are sitting there. Don't disturb them yet. You'll also notice that there's some areas that are raised on either side on the right and left. Those will become important later. And you'll also notice that there are two rooms on the right and left. Those will also be important. So how you want to kind of divide the teams up is in the two groups of three. And they're going to basically, it's almost like a relay race on both sides. So let's take the left, for instance. So what happens is one person on left and one person on right, they will go out, they will grab an orb halfway between the room that you're in and a plate that they have to hold out, similar to the plates you see in Crota and other activities. They're annihilator totems. You have to stay on them so the fire team doesn't wipe. So, but to pick up this orb, you're going to get a brand that protects you from a debuff that will kill you if you stand on the plate too long. So pick up the orb, go get the brand, go all the way and stand on that plate. And you're going to basically kill that to that point. While you're doing that, one other person is going to be going and they're going to go on that upper area that we talked about earlier. They're going to kill a wizard and they're also going to kill a knight. That knight is going to give them a brand stealer, which will allow them to take the brand and recycle it because the brand that you currently have when you're on the plate is running on a countdown. So you're basically going to run. That person's going to run take that and they're gonna meet you and you're gonna steal the brand from them. Again, you can do that on the plate or if you're running out of time, you guys can meet, you guys can run towards each other because again, you can stay off the annihilator totems for a few seconds. So that's something you can do if you're running out of time. So while you're doing that, the other person, that third person with on both right and left are gonna continue just killing ads in the room because if they don't clear the ads, those ads spill in and go into the rooms that you're in. While you're on that plate, you're gonna be killing ads and you're gonna to have to worry about ads coming out of the top and the bottom. As you're killing ads when you're on the plate, you'll notice that your Death Singer counter will increase. That's in your lower left hand corner. You'll need that because you have to take that and deposit back in the middle. So again, while you're on that plate, one of the other people is going and getting the stealer and doing all of that stuff that you had already done. And again, taking care of ads. So there, you're gonna finish up when your thing gets down, again, you want to do a counter so people know where you're at. Probably about eight or, or nine or something like that. If people aren't close to you, you need to start thinking about running towards the middle to meet them. You'll exchange your buff. Then you'll go into the center area. You're going to deposit your buff in the center. Okay? And when you do that, that's going to basically advance the totem that's in the front. You can see it. it's got lights and it's going up constantly. So that's kind of the cycle. Once you finish with that, then again, you go into the cycle again. You kill the knight, you pick up the brand, the brand stealer, and you go back. The one thing that's going to throw you off in this is that about a third through the encounter, as it's increasing, you're going to have an unstoppable that shows up, and he's kind of beefy. So that's something for the people who are clearing ads. You need to make sure you take out as quickly as possible. And again, you do it at one third, two thirds, and then at the final. You keep doing that, and as long as you live and everyone does their, their handoffs properly, that's how you finish the encounter. Again, pretty frenetic encounter, not a ton of complicated mechanics, but the brand stealing is going to come up key later in the raid. It's a, a mechanic that's going to continue to be a component throughout the raid, so it's something you're going to want to get good at. The one thing about this encounter, though, is it requires everyone to play a role. You can't just sit aside and just decide you're not going to play. You actually have to learn roles and participate. Once you're complete with this, then you advance to the next encounter, War Priest. And again, he's a big, beefy beast. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guarding to the tower.